Good evening. Well, they're thrilling in movies and in video games, but in real life, high-speed chases often have tragic results. Well, that was the situation in a law enforcement chase in the summer of 2017 in Moody County. It's the subject of our Kelloland News investigation, The Price of Pursuit. Here's a look at where that chase took place. The pickup took off after being told to stop, and the highway patrol began chasing it over several county roads, but lost sight of the vehicle on 484th Avenue. Flandreau Tribal Police Chief Rob Neuenfeld got in his patrol car, and Logan Baldini, a Moody County deputy in training, jumped in the passenger seat. The two picked up the pursuit. Neuenfeld and Baldini continued to chase the pickup over a dozen more roads, coming to a stop at the intersection of Highway 13 and a gravel road, 229A. As they pulled up to the pickup, Baldini got out and ordered the driver to get out of his truck. Instead, the driver put the pickup in reverse and headed down 229A. The pickup crashed here on this dead-end dirt road. The two passengers and driver were thrown from the vehicle and suffered broken necks. Traumatic brain injury. He had a <clears throat> severely bruised left thalamus, which can controls the right movement plus brain bleeds. For the first time, the driver and his mother are speaking publicly and raising questions about the necessity of this chase. Tonight at 10, we look into the law enforcement report on the incident and see who was involved and what decisions were made and whether or not the officers followed policies in place. We've also dedicated an entire page on Kelloland.com to the subject of police pursuits. The price of pursuit includes coverage by our Capitol Bureau reporter, Bob Mercer, on the lack of transparency in South Dakota on this issue.